Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your boy, Basement Dweller Opinions, coming back at you with another one of his opinions. Now, I want to cover this Travis Scott situation. I i don't want to say I wanted to for a while, you know, just kind of wanted to, but, you know, I, I just want to take everything in. I didn't want to do it, you know, impulsively just for the views. I don't like to do that type of stuff, man. I, 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 I like to talk about stuff when I like to talk about it, which is why you'll hardly ever catch me talking about things that are trending right now unless I really care about them and I really have something I want to say about it and usually if I have something to say it's not exactly about the people and the, the people itself is usually the situation or what the situation reflects on my ideals or ideology or something I already felt you know so I, you know. but let's talk about this Travis Scott situation because I see a lot of people are blaming Travis Scott for this and they're saying it is his fault and I understand you need someone to blame and it's literally Travis Scott's concert and Travis Scott saw these people and he didn't do anything he saw the people dying Travis Scott you saw the people dying and you did nothing you're a horrible piece of garbage person you have no empathy and I get it but I'm not an NPC so <laughs> You, you guys can listen to Franklin from GTA Talk, or you can listen to, you know, one of the playable characters talk, all right? You don't have to listen to the NPCs that, 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 that'll talk all that shit, and then when you pull out a gun, it's, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. I'm real. I'm real. Trust me. So, let's get right into it. My honest opinion on what I think about this is Travis Scott has seen plenty of people pass out of his concerts before. This was a very big concert for him. I mean, this is 50,000 people. I think that's the same amount of people we saw in that um, famous DMX clip where people say he's performing in front of the entire world. So, and the reason people say that is because you see the angle from which DMX is performing and you saw a sea of people and it looked like it was never ending. I believe that was around 50,000 people as well. So you see how many people that is, right? That's what Travis Scott was seeing as well. And that's how many people there were. And they were all compact together, moshing and everything. Travis Scott knows that people... <clears throat> Travis Scott knows that people pass out of concerts. He's had these type of concerts before. He makes sort of mosh type... He makes, he, he makes mosh type music as well as other music as well. But he makes music that people can mosh to as well. And people have moshed and, he, and people passed out of his concerts. He's seen this plenty of times. And I'm imagining his sort of thing is... Well, Kid Cudi's the rager, but he he likes to keep the show going, but also making sure that people are safe by preemptively having sort of paramedics or security there that can, you know, and also there, there's the etiquette. So he's confident that his fans are going. I'm sure that's sort of like what he's thinking. And with such a big event, with such big, you know, he has to make sure the shit is like legendary. He's seen these people pass out and he wants to keep the ghost that he wants to keep the show going i'm sure he had things set in place where he's like all right these people are going to be taken care of but the show must go on like this is 50,000 people i can't let this like i can't let this shit slip through my finger i'm pretty sure this was a really big deal for him an accomplishment he didn't want it to be ruined so he he waited and, and he saw it but I, I i gotta i gotta what travis scott saw was not people dying okay yes people were dying but from his perspective he thinks people are passing out he's not seeing people dead He's seeing people passing out. And he's like, all right, people passing out. We're going to be able to get them. Like, I know my peoples are going to get the shit. That's what I'm imagining he saw. You know, I guess it's an excuse on his part, but I'm not of the idea that Travis Scott is a fucking sociopath, okay? A lot of people, like, that's what you guys are literally trying to push. And I'm not going to just push that on someone saying, oh, yeah, he's a sociopath. He doesn't have any sort of empathy. The nigga has a daughter, bro. <laughs> He has a fucking daughter, you know what I mean? And he made a song about her. If the nigga doesn't have empathy, then... Like, come on. Guys, he's a human being who has empathy. He's not a sociopath. But this sort of thing, he just didn't handle it very well. I think that's what happened. He made mistakes, and I'm sure in his mind, he was weighing the options of things of what he thought was his reality, but it wasn't. People were dying, and he thought they were passing. He, they were just passing out, and it was going to be fine. And they were, But people were actually dead. So... I'm not, I, I'm not saying Travis Scott is not to blame by saying this stuff. I'm just explaining what he saw from his perspective, and it's not what people are saying. Well, well what I think, and it, you know, like I, I don't, I don't know for sure. But I'm explaining what I think he saw from his perspective. Um, but that being said, yes, he's to blame as well as the fucking fans are. You gotta hold them accountable too. The one thing that the masses do is they'll never hold themselves accountable. 
They'll, they'll, they'll act like they're innocent in all this, but you gotta hold the fans accountable too that weren't doing anything. You know what I mean? You gotta hold the fans accountable as well. I'm sure Travis could've stopped the show, but woulda, coulda, shoulda, and also the fans could've stopped what the fuck they were doing and stopped being goddamn idiots. When are we gonna start holding people accountable for, for, for acting like fucking sheep in the heat of the moment and not acting like human beings? There were people in the midst of that situation that were trying to help people. Why couldn't the other people do that? Are they too fucking stupid to do that? And if that's the case, then those people don't need to go out the fucking house, and they also don't need to be able to vote. They don't need to be able to do anything in society if you can't even hold these fucking people accountable that were responsible for murdering people. There was not, there's not once a moment in the media or amongst these people on social media where we're talking about holding the people that actually murder people responsible. Where, where, where are the people that, that, that actually are responsible for killing these people are at home just like, I really got away with this shit. You know what? I'm, matter of fact, I'm finna make a burner. I'm finna... I'm finna shit on Travis Scott too, just to save face. You know, <laughs> it's like, when are we gonna hold these people accountable too? Nobody's holding these people accountable. Now, that's enough of that. I wanna talk about what Travis Scott should do. Honestly, in my opinion, what I think he should do. And the thing is, Travis, we shouldn't be hearing anything from you. You shouldn't have made that video. That video was terrible, okay? And the memes on it are pretty funny. That video was fucking awful. That apology video was goddamn terrible. I mean, what were you doing? I mean, you, you were just like... I just want to say, um... <laughs> it's like, it's like what, what's wrong with you? What are you doing? Why are you rubbing your forehead so much? Like, what... What did you think? And the worst part is that was a Snapchat, bro. So he watched it back right after he got done. It starts playing right after you get done recording. He watched it back. He was like, hey, fuck with this. No, what's wrong with you? We, sh we shouldn't have heard anything. There's literally nothing you could have said that would have made people feel better. You, you, people are looking at you as a murderer right now. Like people are looking like you organized an event to kill little kids. There's nothing you could say. So you shouldn't have said anything. You should have done something. And we shouldn't be hearing about what you've done because anything good that you've done, if we hear about it, it's gonna look like it's a PR stunt. You should just do it. Just so, even if even if you are a sociopath and people think you are, at least like if you do it and nobody hears from it, they'll be like, oh shit, he did out of the goodness of his heart because we didn't hear anything about this. He didn't want us to, so he did this because he's a good person actually. That's how it would be perceived. You should have, paid for the well actually he's paying for the funerals you should have showed up to the funeral don't just pay for them show up to the funerals because i mean you are partly responsible for those people dying bro show up to the funerals help the people grieve show them that you care hug the mama kiss the babies you gotta put in the fucking work it, you know but we shouldn't hear about it it should naturally just come out through the families of the people who passed away that's what you should do. And then after all that's passed over, then you apologize to just the fans in general for not acting as best you can. And you're going to work to ensure that that never happens again. That's the that's all that you can do. But you have to give it. You have to give it time before you go out to the media. That's what I think he should do. Now, I think Travis will slightly recover from this, but I don't think he'll fully recover like a Kanye West. The reason why Kanye West can recover is because Kanye... I mean, let's be real. Kanye's music compared to Travis' music is not the same. A lot of these Gen Z people love his music, but they love it right now. That's that's all. This music is trendy. Travis makes Travis has made good music, but he hasn't made timeless music. A lot of this music now, the auto tune and shit, is not timeless. The only person with auto tune that's really made timeless music is fucking T Pain. <laughs> that's like the only one who consistently uses auto tune has made timeless music. Travis Scott, he has a few songs that might be timeless, but I, I think a lot of the songs are just gonna. You know, and, and the reason why I say that is people probably legitimately going to drop, drop Travis. They would not drop him if, if, if his music was so undeniably good. Like, they'd be like, all right, man, I mean, you, you are responsible for, like, a few kids dying. But, I mean, your music is so raw. I can't stop. But people aren't doing People are probably going to stop listening to his music. A lot of people are going to stop listening to his music. And proof of this, proof of this, if, if his music was so undeniably good, R. Kelly. The nigga literally pissed on a little girl in video, and we have people saying how he made them eat his poop and shit. You know what I mean? Like, R. Kelly. But his music was so good. People are still having inner, like, conflicts with themselves 
to listen to his music. He still even has fans. Because that's how good his music was. But he ain't mu making music like that. Kanye West did some of the craziest shit with Taylor Swift and saying some wild shit. But then he makes such classic music where people are like, fuck, man, we can't. His music's too raw. All right, fuck it. His music's too good. And he's still around. Your music ain't all, like, it ain't Kanye. It ain't R. Kelly's level of, you know what I mean? So I don't think he's going to fully recover. I think he could somewhat, but I don't think his sales are going to be the same. He's not going to keep having these numbers. And he was a trend. I, it, that That's the cost of being a trend and your out first big date, like, album being so big because of a meme and being a trend. That's the cost. People are going to jump on because fickle trends, you know, and people will jump off because of fickle trends. You didn't build a genuine fan base because of how good your music was. You built a genuine fan base. You built a fan base because of memes and trends, because groupthink. And people are going to leave because of groupthink as well. Kanye, people join because they love him. They love his music. They love him as a person. There was nothing really about you as a person that was all that great. I mean, you're not that, that like, in the media, you don't do anything particularly crazy like Kanye, you know, that makes you, like, so unique. And then with your music, your music may be, like, unique, but it's, like, it ain't, it don't got that it factor like Kanye has. You didn't have the streak of five great albums that changed hip-hop and music with every release, you know? So, yeah. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And I'm out. Peace. I just want to make an apology about what I said that it's his music he can't come back from it now honestly what I know what I really do think <clears throat> I don't think based off the music we've heard if he makes some more music that's like that or even the tracks that he's been releasing recently it's not enough to be like oh man I need to listen to Travis again I don't think so but he could talk to Kanye Kanye's been through this and Kanye got cancelled because of the Taylor Swift thing, but then he came back with My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, some more classic great music that was just undeniable. And people were like, yeah, bro, you're too raw. Like, yeah, we can't. If he gets in touch with Kanye and Kanye decides to help him out so he can make his own magnum opus, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, then I can see it. But Kanye would be saving his career, really, and not Travis himself, because Travis's music is that good. It would be Kanye, because Kanye's like, all right, I, 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 I'll help you out but it's going to cost you. Right. I don't know, but that's what I really think. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, and I'm out. Thanks.